I was on a really short flight from Orlando to Pensacola and we went through a terrible storm and the, f the plane was being thrown left and right in the most violent way. I looked over and I saw a flight attendant praying and in that moment, I had my first panic attack. I just felt so unsafe and unsure and out of control. And after we landed, I never felt the same. So a couple days later, I felt like I could hear voices in my head, like just saying the worst things. I was having another panic attack. I had them take me to the hospital because I thought I was gonna die. My heart was racing at like triple speed. Like I had absolutely no clue what the next two years was gonna look like. It was constant everyday panic attacks. It was the most violent and earth shattering two years that I could have ever imagined, which is actually what led to depression for me. My depression was completely fueled by panic and just the hopelessness of, is this what life is always going to look like? So, you know, I was on a journey with my faith. I was on a journey with mental health. I was on a journey with just trying to figure out who I was. I started going to therapy consistently and just started to understand that panic is a false alarm. It's not actually your body um, shutting down. Your amygdala is firing and it thinks that you're in danger when you're not, but it feels just like you actually are. The more that you learn about anxiety, the more that you learn about depression, and the more that you dig deep in therapy and learn why those things were coming up in your life in the first place, the less scary it becomes. The biggest key is staying present in every moment. It can be the hardest thing in the entire world, but it's a learned thing. For me, prayer is a huge part of my life. Breathing exercises are awesome. Gratitude can be such an impactful tool in just staying present and actually making you realize what it is that's around you. Depression is the past that you're not in control of, anxiety is the future that you're not in control of, and peace is the moment that you're currently in. The relationship between music and mental health is vital. Pain is a universal language. Everybody wants to be understood and sometimes the closest people to you are the hardest people to talk to and so you run to music and you hear this song from someone who's experiencing something that's similar to what you're going through and when you hear it you feel like you're talking with your best friend. I think that the very first step to anybody being willing to get help or willing to heal in general is to understand that they're not alone in what they're going through. As soon as you are not ashamed of your pain it's easier to share it. This is something that so many people deal with and it's okay to be dealing with it. You cannot handle everything on your own. Find someone that you can talk to. It'll change everything. Had I not been honest about what I was dealing with, had I stayed isolated emotionally, um, I don't even know if I'd be alive today.